Hello and welcome to Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. So today we're going to be handling the pits and you're going to find out just why I don't like it very much. So you might recognise the music in the tile set because it's exactly the same as uh, Turtle Woods. You find that a lot in this game that a lot of the levels use the same kind of tile set and etc. But you will be pleased to know that every uh, mission hub in the game uses its own. Uh, well, doesn't use its own. Sorry, it has introduced its own uh, type of level, so it doesn't get stale too very quickly at all. trying to get the gem, so that's why I'm very good at That's one thing you should bear in mind about uh, the mask that protects you, is you can upgrade it to high levels, which you're about to see, or if I hit this one, it's a different colour. So now I can absorb two hits, and this is why I hate the pits two different ways to go, but if you want the gem, you're going to have to go both ways, so let's go right first. You will also notice something slightly later in that uh, the crystal is in fact down one of these paths specifically. So if you can pick the wrong way, which is literally the right way, the way I've gone, then you're not going to get the crystal, and it's very easy to miss like that. So. Yeah, can be annoying. That's close. <laughs> okay. That was foolish. Oh well. Thank God for the mask. Somebody stop it. because you can't see enemies coming nearly as well. And there's this thing. You see what I mean? If you didn't pick this way the first time and just carried on going, you would easily miss that crystal and have to replay the level. Not the level thicker. Unreasonable amount of time, I suppose. Whoa! Okay, that was not intended. Let's try that again. Of course, now I'm all the way back here, which is slightly annoying. I have to say, even though it may be a slightly uh, overused, this is probably my favourite uh, tile set. Something quite you know, charming about it. Now, I somewhat annoyingly, they don't have a mask protecting me. So, one hit from an enemy that happens is just kind of leap out from nowhere. It's going to cause me to die. Much like that film mask up there. <laughs> Oh my god, no way. That was the wrong button. <laughs> right, let's try this again then. I really hate having to go back that way. You can see so far in front of you, but running backwards is, well, you can barely see five feet in front of the face for some reason. Hoping this isn't going to take too many tries, or that would be fail. It's things like this which makes uh, completing the game normally so easy, but uh, completing it with all the gems so you get the 100% uh, completion 
somewhat frustrating at times. Oh, that was very hard. Fortunately, you get so much fruit that your massive supply of lives isn't likely to be defeated at one time, so you're my massive supply of lives. Supply of lives, I should say. And this time I've got it. Yes, another checkpoint. That should help immensely. <laughs> okay, thank God for that checkpoint. Ooh. too well. I should probably stop rushing this now. There you go. My god. And here I thought I made it to the end. Such a trap. Admiral Akbar will have many things to say about this, I think. Whoop. Playing out that complete luck dodge there. There we go, and at last I have finished that bit. Now we go back down here. You probably noticed I smacked a uh, grey box with an exclamation mark on it, which opens the two crates down this way, which is why we chose to go this way back. And thank God I can actually uh, see in front of me. So much easier. And there's two lives back in them. Far too many, I'm going to be honest. I lost getting the gem. Still, the hard part's done. And it's pretty easy from here. You can get out of these pits quite easily. Like just jumping on the tracks and bouncing off them up there, see? Oh, and now we have a bonus stage. Those crates there with the uh, reinforced metal around them can be broken by the body slamming them, like so. You'll probably find quite a lot more of them later on. Ah, yes, this bit is somewhat annoying as well. Of course, in the bonus stages, if you fall and die, you don't actually lose a life, which is quite good. Cool. You just lose everything you've collected so far, but of course, there's no problem getting that back. Ooh, yeah, okay. That was <laughs> not quite as intended. As I say, it's no problem getting it back, though, of course, because you can simply just jump straight in, and once you appear just outside of it, it's not really an issue whatsoever. There we go. Easy as pie. Apparently pie is easy. Don't really know why, but apparently it is. Oh, and we can just skip that the pit like that. There's one interesting uh, aspect to this game, which you can use the scene. It's a kind of a huge way out of it. I'll try not to make a habit out of that if I can. And well, there's a gem, so that's the end of the pit. Thank you for watching this uh, not exactly unbelievably pro video, but still, I managed it in the end. See you next time for Crash Dash.